Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnavy.net, which is my blog. Here in this screencast, uh, we'll be talking more about Angular forms. In the previous sections, we have seen um, uh, more about directives, interpolation, and next nesting of components. And uh, if I uh, just run this app uh, live in front of you guys, so we can just quickly see this, like uh, uh, what this is doing here. So uh, this was all about nesting of components. So let, let it come over here. So as you can see here, like click me and all these things we have already seen, like uh, whatever we are typing and uh, how it is handling this uh, uh, key inputs. And uh, let's suppose adding something in the in this list, let's say tie another day and uh, I will just clicking enter and it is happening. So this was the thing which we have already seen in the previous screencast, like how nesting of components is working, right? Now here <clears throat> in this case, um, I will simply go ahead and change this uh, main component over here. As you can see here, initially it was bootstrapping my app component, but uh, here I have nested some of the things uh, under form section and there again, I have main component inside that. Uh, this entire piece, I will be sharing it on GitHub for your reference in some time from now. But uh, before this, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, uh, let you see guys like what is this forms components so as you can see here on the left panel there is entire form section uh, which is uh, having all components inside this uh, what initially form was having uh, initially app was having so the very first component again it starts with ts uh, app component which expects here this selector my app right so this my app is nothing but my this my app which says loading right and this component again needs this uh, template as in movie form so now when i say movie form so it is actually coming from movie form component which you can see here right and this movie form component is having this movie form so uh, let me just go here in this movie form component dot ts file and here you can see is like this is the selector which it was talking about this movie form so here you can see is this is the template which it is html element which it is going to have inside that movie form entire tag and uh, this template url is uh, uh, going to embed this uh, component html so um, let me just go over here and let me just this is just a simple uh, HTML form. Uh, basically, I would say a simple uh, bootstrap HTML form, right? And there are a few components like ng model for data binding and ng for uh, for just looping through this uh, my particular list and binding this in a drop down, right? So I will come to those those points later. But uh, first, let me go here. So this component is having two main things. One is selector, which is having movie form. And another one is template URL, which it is taking from that form component.html, right? Here is one more import, which is saying that movie.ts. So this movie.ts is nothing about this properties, which I uh, which we already familiar with, like um, how to declare properties via TypeScript constructor and uh, TypeScript classes. So this is the basic constructor around movie class uh, with couple of properties inside. And there is, uh, if you can see this reviews, this is just an optional property. Uh, this optional property is basically specified with a question mark operator just after the property name. So this is one of the trick with, uh, or I would say syntax specification with TypeScript to specify this, okay, this guy is optional. So uh, we can either provide the value while uh, doing form binding or we can just uh, skip this piece So as you can see here um, in the export class movie form component, right? So here again, I am having uh, this generous. So this generous is going to be my drop-down Collection, right? So which I will be showing you later. This will be part of selection piece so now uh, this is the model which I am going to bind to my form via ng model and this is uh, again I am here uh, via constructor I am just uh, 
uh, newing up this movie uh, with these values right and again you can see here this 27 if if i just remove also it won't complain right because this is the optional thing and this is just the review and here you can see this constructor in this intelligence like it is saying that that is going to be a number which is of optional type right which is of number type and optional parameter so that's the one thing now uh, this property i have just kept it for on submit uh, submitted equal to false so this i am uh, submitting uh, this i am just setting on on this sub, on submit function by setting it to true so this is this kind of things which you can make use of uh, for disabling and enabling the button so that's the one thing uh, this is one inspect feature or inspect this get property i am just utilizing this guy to actually um, uh, convert this model into json and uh, just to give you live statistics what is um, changing on the form let's suppose i have a form and there is something uh, getting changed over there so it will just uh, print out that exact thing uh, what is happening uh, behind the scenes with the form so that's the one thing uh, i have also installed that bootstrap component for this uh, to make this guy uh, as a bootstrap so here you can see in this node modules uh, there is um, something called uh, bootstrap should have been there so here you can see this so this guy has been installed successfully uh, respective to this particular project itself so um, the same thing i am utilizing here in this um, index html page so once this guy has been installed successfully so i'm just using this css over here right so that that's the very basic thing you guys are already familiar with if you guys have been doing any bootstrap activity or if you guys have been building any forms earlier also right uh, but let's flip over to this form section and let's go to this the main component which we were talking about so this was the thing movie form component dot ts right so we have seen like this movie class we have also seen uh, now there is again ng form right so this is this has to be uh, included like how we are in including this component right from angular core the, this ng form has to be included from angular common right so this is one of the key areas which you need to stress upon if you are building any angular forms so this is the uh, i would say prerequisite for building any kind of angular form then we have component which uh, took this selector movie form right and inside this selector entire html is going to be embedded or uh, is i would say it's getting replaced now uh, this movie form component which is uh, uh, having all these properties uh, with say genres model and um, inspect so now let me go ahead and um, include this movie form component.html now let's see what this guy is doing so the very first thing is it's binding this inspect so this inspect what it will happen over here uh, it will just uh, produce the model into json type and it will just show you the values over there i will just show you uh, by running it live on the screen and uh, again this is a simple uh, uh, bootstrap specified class like all forms and input type form control classes now this is the key thing so this ng model is nothing about two way binding right so as i said like this is the syntax of angular 2 a specific thing so what it is doing is uh, in the square brackets uh, within this uh, small brackets ng model is taking as um, as a syntax of for this model binding for this particular input type so what it is doing it is just going to uh, grab this movie name from this model so this model is where this model is here right um, so this model is here which is having this entire set uh, with the constructor specified over here right now with this movie name director name release year uh, reviews all these are getting fetched from this model itself apart from that i have also um, ha i also have one collection which says for chainers right so this is uh, static collection of a couple of uh, different chainers and this is going to uh, bind it with this guy and here this ng4 will come into picture so ng4 what it will do it will just loop through this 
generous and with this variable and it is going to print out that value and exact name um, uh, whatever is coming from so this has become as a value property and this has become the text kind of property which it is going to be displayed in the drop down list itself so this is that uh, drop down piece which it is going to uh, bind for this particular select channels right and again this submit is nothing but a uh, submit button just for submitting the form actually it's doing currently nothing while submitting the form this is just the skeleton piece around angular forms uh, we'll see in the coming screencast like how to utilize services and all uh, on this uh, submit click but for now i think this is okay um, but before running this just let me build this just to refresh the app and with luck i will just go ahead and just run this app control f5 so it is going to produce the form over here so as you can see here uh, uh, let's say these guys are required and these forms are completed so you can see the behavior of the form how it's changing the color there are a couple of things i have also added here in the style.css just for uh, angular forms uh, particularly and here you can see this these two properties uh, which is required and it is saying that green and red i although i am not using this invalid uh, as of now i will be using this in the later screencast when i was i will be talking about uh, more about uh, uh, template tracking and um, uh, change state tracking basically but that's okay now let's go ahead here so as i was saying is uh, this is nothing but the inspect thing right which is coming from here so if you go inside this form and movie form component dot html so this is the inspect which is coming from there right and this is coming from here this is the get property for this inspect which is taking this particular model and just stringifying in the json type now if you just see here so this is taking the entire property which i have already emitted by a constructor so it is giving this id movie name uh, director name and uh, all those things so if i just uh, do something here let's say delete something so here you can also see this is uh, taking live here i mean all this um, ng model values are uh, directly Im getting emitted over here right so this is um, some of the things which you can think of and if i directly um, submit this button so it, it says like please fill out this field because this is the required field so let's say let's suppose uh, i update with something let's say godzilla so here it also gets updated with godzilla although it's not valid in this um, so i will just go ahead and put titanic here and um, that's okay so this is uh, one of the key things for this this is this guy is optional so i will just go ahead and submit this so it won't complain over here because i have not specified this required component over here so here you can also see in this form uh, this review is, is not required so these guys are required that is why it's complaining right now uh, let's think of this uh, drop down so this drop down is again having um, uh, whatever the model which is coming from my static model and uh, which is here so my my drop down is values are coming from this guy all these channels so what it is basically doing it is just looping in this channels and just um, binding in this uh, drop down in this options uh, piece so this is what it is emitting here so i hope you have liked this piece around angular forms so this is just the brief about this so let's summarize that what we have seen over here so we have uh, uh, very first thing yeah we have seen is like movie model class which has got bunch of properties we then created component so the, this component is nothing but is my um, let me show you my main component as well so this main component is again the uh, replica of my app component what we have seen earlier but here it is just inside this forms and it is almost doing the same thing it is just um, bootstrapping my app component so if i go ahead and look at this my app component so this is just importing this guy 
uh, movie form component right so movie form component is coming from where movie form component is coming from here and this is the class which is getting exported from here and it is getting imported here in this uh, app component.ts so this is how this complete wiring up happens and uh, the next thing over here which we have discussed is uh, we created the form template right and this is the template which i was talking about uh, this is the basic bootstrap template with angular stuffs inside angular 2 stuffs inside and um, then we have uh, binded this with ng model so this is the few things which we have seen around this angular 2 forms in the coming screencast we will see uh, more about angular 2 forms with some of some of the other properties let's say change tracking and via ng control and other stuffs so till then stay tuned and happy